So you've downloaded the fancy new font that you want to use in Blender, but you're running into this issue where you can't actually find it in Blender. Today I'm going to show you how to correctly install your fonts so that they show up within Blender. Now if you're like me, you would have probably gone to Defont, where, which is a really good resource for finding typefaces, and a lot of them are public domain as well, so you can basically use them however you want. So the way you probably would have installed it, let's go with this tattoo one, you probably would have just gone download, double click this on Chrome, and just double clicked here, and installed it. If you did it this way, this is the incorrect way to install the font. It's basically not going to show up in Blender if you do it like this. So as you can see, you just hit Shift A, add text, hit Tab to go into edit mode, Control A to select all text. If we go over here into our text properties, this is where you change the font. See, so normally you just click on this folder icon and you can see here, it will take you to C Windows fonts, which is where your fonts are stored automatically. And you can see if I type in the search bar, if you type in tattoo, you see it's not showing up. And the reason for that is the way that you actually installed the font. So I'm just going to quickly show you now the correct way to install it so that it shows up in Blender. Uh, and I'll explain why you have to do it this way after if you just stay to the end of the video. So what you need to do is you actually need to go to your downloads folder where your uh, font was. You need to actually right click your newly downloaded font. Just extract all. You can just extract it in your downloads file, but it's important that you extract it from the zip. And the reason why is because we need to right click it and check and click install for all users. If you do it from the zip file, you won't actually have any other options other than the install option. It's important that you install for all users, this little one with the badge on it. So once that's done, you'll notice that now if we try load up our font, type in tattoo, it shows up. And the reason why that happens is because the default install lo location for your fonts is C Windows fonts. If you install it the quick way, which is just opening it up and installing from this interface, it actually doesn't install the fonts to that file path, which is the one that Blender uses to reference the fonts. It actually installs um, somewhere else. I think it's in your app data. So I'm just going to type in Waya, which is another font I installed uh, just using that method. If, if I type in Waya, you can see when you install it through the interface, it installs it on C users, whatever your user is, then app data, local, Microsoft Windows. That's basically why Blender's not referencing your font. If I now unzip that one, that Waya one, and install it the proper way, you'll see now I've got two of them, right? You see now I've got another instance of it and it's installed in C Windows fonts, which is the obviously file path that Blender references. So yeah, all you gotta do now is just search for your font and yeah, it should be there. And now you can play around with this to your heart's content. Hopefully this helps someone who's been struggling with this issue. If it did help you, please leave a like and subscribe as it really helps me with the channel growth and feel free to check out more of my work at netmotion.co.uk.